After constructing the cube and case in part 1, it is finally time to build the electronic circuit and upload the first test code. At the end of this part you will be able to build your own functional 4x4x4 RGB LED cube. My case is still missing a DC jack, so I just use my Dremel with a cutting tool to create a square for my jack. And if you are familiar with some of my other videos, then you know I'm not that skilled in this category. So I guess this should work somehow? But I still use hot glue to secure it, so it'll work. I hope. A switch and jack is basically all we need for the case. Maybe I will add some more components to it later, but let's just go with this basic setup for now. Now we need to add male header pins to the ribbon cables, for later connecting them to the PCB. Obviously we need 3x16 pins for the cathodes of all colors and 1x4 pins for the anode layers. Also some shrinking tube and solder. The process is simple. I separate the ribbon cable with a cutter and strip the isolation of each cable. I use some solder to tint the tips and I also tint the male headers. I cut my shrinking tube and slide them over the ribbon cable. Now I solder the ribbon cables to the headers and use the shrinking tube to isolate them from one another. And done! Now we need to build the main circuit. Let's check the parts first. One PCB with Cooper dots, four P-channel MOSFETs, because this time I cannot multiplex the rows of the cube like I did in my multiplex video. I will multiplex the layers and I already have a wire for each anode layer, so everything will work fine. If you would build a bigger 8x8x8 cube, you would need 8 MOSFETs to multiplex the 8 layers. Moving on, we need the TLZ5940. Each one can control 16 LEDs, which is basically just what we need, because we have 16 LEDs in one layer. But we have 3 different colors, so we're gonna need 3 of those. For 1K resistors, which we use as pull-up resistors for the MOSFETs, and 3 2K resistors to set the constant current of the TLZs to 20mA for each LED. The brain of the operation is gonna be an Arduino Nano. In addition we need silver Cooper wire, female header pins and 3 28 pin IC sockets. I created this schematic for you guys to recreate the project, but I did not make a layout diagram for the PCB but it isn't that hard. I used female headers to construct a socket for the Arduino. This way I can easily replace it. I also used the headers for the 16 outputs of each TLC5940 and the drain of the P-channel MOSFET. I soldered the 1K resistor between gate and source of each MOSFET. The 2K resistor connects to pin 20 and 22 of each TLC. The rest wiring is explained in the schematic. Always check all your connections twice and be sure to use a multimeter with its continuity function to check for shorts. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then take a look at my multimeter video. Ok, PCB is done. Almost. I later realized that I forgot to add some capacitors, so I soldered an 100 microfarad and 100 nanofarad capacitor between 5 volts and ground. Now we need to connect the male header of the ribbon cables to the female headers of the PCB. I connect the upper layer to the MOSFET with the gate IO A3. And there is only one way to fit the other three layers in the header. Now we need to remember the wiring schematic from the first part. I connect the ribbon cables for the LED1 to the output 0 of each TLC. If you take a look at my code, then you realize LED1 is labeled A, LED2 is labeled B and so on. And again, there is only one way for the headers to fit. The first TLC is for the red LEDs, second TLC for green and third TLC for blue. Last thing we need is power. I plug in my 5V power supply, which can give me at least 2 amps. I use my multimeter to see which pin is ground and which pin is 5V. Ground connects directly to ground of the Arduino. 5V connects to the middle pin of the switch and the other side of the switch connects directly to the 5V pin of the Arduino. And done! I hope you already downloaded the TLZ5940 library from the Arduino Playground, because we need to modify it. I open the TLC config file in the library 
and change the value for used TLCs from 1 to 3. This is very important. Now just download my code and upload it to the cube. The animation is very simple and the cube will flash in a few different colors. If it works like this, then you did everything right. In the next part, I will talk about the code and how you create your own animations. I will also optimize the cube and bring the whole project to an end. If you like this video, then you might like some of my others. So go ahead and check them out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I will see you next time.